I was just a typical young, young boy, one of three boys. I'm the eldest, so I've got two younger brothers. I went to a rural primary school, uh, 80 kids in Rotorangi, uh, then on to Cambridge Intermediate and Cambridge High. Um, I was the, the uh, deputy head boy. There we go, you know. I'm a type one diabetic, so I've been on insulin since I was 21 months old. Dealing with pretty reasonable challenges as you know, a young person growing up, you know, I started to give my own injections to myself at the age of four. Mum and Dad were orchardists, uh, there's my grandfather actually, you know, and that's me growing up on the orchard with him. The old days, you know, captain the teams, you know, so, so diabetes has never, never stopped me doing anything. I play rugby from the age of five, the camaraderie shit you have with that in a team. So I started my career off in, in corporate tax. Yeah, so I was working for the uh, RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland Group, uh, Ulster Bank in, in Ireland and then RBS in London, and primarily part of the what were those, the investment banking divisions, um, global banking and markets. Look, I think um, pretty much in, when I was in London, uh, I was there just after the London bombings, um, and it was quite a formative moment. Uh, in terms of me as a young person, and I guess I wanted to, to get into a position where, you know, I wanted to learn a skill set that if I was ever in that type of situation, I'd be able to do something to be able to help. I was responding um, from home to, you know, emergency calls in London uh, around my local neighbourhood. Looking at that, I wanted to come back to New Zealand and go, well, I wanted to be an expert at it in terms of as best as I could be. And that's what drove me to, to study paramedicine and at AUT um, and, uh, you know, become degree qualified. There's an element of me that's quite hands-on, calm under pressure, and the element of this role is attention to detail. You've got to get it right first time. You don't know what you're going into, but you need to be able to, you know, deliver and perform at the highest level continuously. You've got to work as a team, right? In this truck, there's two of us, uh, and that's it. And sometimes we'll be isolated and and you know as a team we need to deal with the situation that's in front of us you know a guy had been hit by a car and and you know we got there we did a, a resus and that on him you know but he died and and he was you know looked at him and you know he's the same age as me you know family like I do for someone like me I guess it gives you that passion is you know you've got to make the most of every day you've got to get into this and um, you know, leave nothing in the tank. I clicked on pretty early on that if I want to make significant change and be part of significant positive change in this country, then I need to get into a position where I can do that. And I guess that's been the driver for me to, to you know, move out of you know, private sector and that, and actually you know, put my name forward for, for politics and, and get in there. Do you want anything? We went around to mutual friends, and so I was in his rugby team at that time. They'd come down for some. Rugby celebrations post the game on a Saturday afternoon, and yeah, hopefully we've been together since since then, which was 1999. So it was ridiculous since I was 19. Yeah, I mean, look, probably when we were 19, this is not what I imagined uh, my husband would be doing. <laughs> um, but you know, you can just see he loves it. He's really passionate and just wants to make a difference. So I think that's what's probably been the loveliest thing to, to see. You know, he's had obviously a very varied career, but yeah, getting into something now where he can help people which is similar to what he did in his ambulance and paramedic um, roles is, is fantastic. You know, at the end of the day, you, you know, your family's most important aspect it is for us and um, that's what grounds us. Why do things take so long in this country to get done, right? That, that's what drives and drove me probably more than anything to get into this role. You know, we could be a hell of a lot better than what we are and we are amazing, don't get me wrong. Um, New Zealand's a beautiful place. But you know what, it could be the best place to live, play and work in the world.